Hello, welcome everyone to question sub array with given sum from the topic arrays in Geekbox must to do coding interview question. So in this question, we have been given an array A and in this array, we're going to find out the positions of starting and ending index where the sum between those positions will give us the value S here. So the whatever the sum value is there between the starting and ending index. Okay, that should be equal to the S value given here. If it is equal, then we're going to simply return the position values. Currently, we have the index values here. First position values, we're going to add plus one. So first index is our starting value. Let us add plus one. This will give us the position that will be second position. And this third index will, will be fourth position. So this will be our output for this question. This is the output. Okay. Now let us do a dry run so we can understand how the starting point and ending point have been decided in the coding map okay for that we're taking total equal to zero here and we're going to iterate the a variable which is a list here let us start iterating and keep on adding till this total will be smaller than s or equal to s okay when it will be equal to s we will stop that loop and we will return the starting and ending indexes okay and add plus one and we will get the position values okay if it is greater if total is greater than the s value then we're going to start subtracting from the starting point here. Okay. For that also we will take start and we will say start will be equal to zero. So this zero will help us to delete the element from the left side one by one. Okay. Now let us start the loop. Okay. Now i is equal to zero. At this point, we have total as one now and starting point hasn't changed. Starting will be zero and i equal to one and now. At one, we will have total as three. Starting point won't be changed. Starting point will only update when s will be, I mean, when total will be greater than s. Okay, only then we will update the starting value and total value along with that. Okay, now when is equal to two, we will update the total value here. Now we will get the second index, right? That second index will have some as six here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 and starting point is 0 and at position 3 I mean the index 3 at index 3 6 plus 7 we will get 13 and answer now remember whenever this total is increased greater than the s variable here then we have to subtract the total and make it smaller than s or equal to s okay at this point start is 0 okay now it has crossed the s value here okay it should be smaller than s but it is greater now so after this index what we're going to do is we'll put another condition and say when total is when total is smaller than s then we'll keep deleting the elements from the starting index value so the starting index value is stored inside the start variable here so now we will delete the starting value using the start variable here now we have index 0 in this we'll delete the index 0 element after deleting the index 0 element we will get 13 minus 1 which is equal to 12 okay now the total value will be updated as 12 along with that the start position will also be updated because we removed the 0th index value right so after removing the 0th index value we have to update it to the next index so this will become 1 so start will also be updated here start will become 1 and we will get total as 12 now this total is equal to s value okay now it is equal to s so we can return the indexes and give to the output function here so the output will be index plus 1 so that will be you now start value is 1 here you can see 1 plus 1 is 2 and next ending value ending value is what the current index we have uh, iterated till this three index right so this will be our ending index only ending index plus one to get the position value See, we got the output as required for the question if you still have doubt let's go into the coding section after seeing the code it will be very much clear how we have approached this question now we are inside the coding section part and you can see the code here the total value was initialized to the starting index value okay so we're going to skip the starting index i equal to zero part and directly start from one here and we have start equal to zero which will be indicating the point where we can start deleting the elements okay and now we are running the loop while i is smaller than or equal to one after that further iteration has begun we will going to check total is greater than 
yes or not it is not so we will not go into this condition at all total is not equal to s also i is smaller than n yes and this also ensures the boundary condition so it doesn't cross the n value here okay if i equal to n we don't want the element to be added to the total okay so this ensures boundary condition doesn't cross okay now as you can see this is simply uh, if total is smaller than s that is the condition here and we don't have to write that because uh, we already mentioned total is greater than s here so by default it will be smaller than s only here so we are only mentioning the boundary condition i should be smaller than n so here we are going to add the elements uh, i can see in the presentation 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 has happened after that we got the element 7 in the third index right so when that happens this while loop will be started now in, at that time total will be equal to 13 so s will be 12 so s is great i mean total is greater than s okay this condition satisfied and start should be smaller than i minus 1 remember i have told one more point in the presentation that start cannot be equal to the ending index start and ending should be both different indexes so for that we are ensuring one more boundary condition here so start should always be smaller than i minus 1 okay if i don't put this condition smaller than i minus 1 then start and ending index will overlap and that will create us problems okay to avoid that we have added i minus 1 now total minus array start now you can see array start start is 0 at the beginning so we are removing the one value 13 minus 1 will get us 12 here we got total equal to 12 now start equal to one index okay now if you come to this condition total is greater than s no it is not so it will come break out of this loop and it will check is equal to s yes it is e yes it is so we'll get start plus one here so this will get us the starting position value and i will get us the ending position value the function will be completed if it doesn't have any value like that then we will simply return minus one at that point i hope you have understood the coding part and also the presentation part thank you for watching let's meet in another question if you like the video please give us a like and subscribe to our channel